Myth number one. You can jump over a fence if a player hits you. As you know, a Minecraft player can jump at most one block and nothing more. But is there a way to get some boost? When another player hits you, you will get knocked back. Is this enough to take you over a fence that is one and a half block high? I tried it up with my friend and the answer is yes. You can indeed jump over a fence if another player gives you a nice little bitch lap. We also tried with two blocks and found out that Steve in Minecraft can deliver punches powerful enough to send someone to that altitude. Myth number two. Grass can spread through air. I left some dirt blocks next to some grass blocks that are differently placed relative to each other. After some waiting, I discovered grass can spread through air. I added a few tests I forgot to add earlier and came up with a conclusion. Grass can spread through air one block out and two blocks down, both I, X and Y axis and diagonal, but only one block upwards. Grass can also spread to a block that's two blocks below the grass block. Myth number three. Arrows obey laws of physics. To test this I retextured some textures in Minecraft so that I'll easily be able to see how far an arrow goes per recorded frame in Minecraft. From this video I calculated that an arrow in Minecraft travels 67.5 meters per second. However, according to Minecraft Wiki an arrow travels 53 meters per second, so I decided to use that velocity instead, since what you see in Minecraft isn't always what you actually have in game. Also, that velocity is close enough to the measure. I suppose the gravity in Minecraft is equally big to real life Earth, and calculated that the arrow should land at 3.5 meters. This isn't the case in game. Minecraft might obey laws of physics, but not those that rule on real life first. Myth number 16. Drinking a bottle of water while on fire will extinguish you. So I decided to ta go take a swim in some lava, but figured out pretty soon that's a bad idea. I had a bottle of water on my hotbar and decided to give it a try. I drank it, but without any success. Luckily there was a cauldron with water in it right beside me. If I want to take a bath in lava in future, I should drink a fire resistant potion. Nerf number I squared times minus 5. You always sprint faster when jumping. To test this, I set up a speedway with start and finish lights that I easily can check the time with the timecode effect. At normal speed, jump sprinting is way faster than just sprinting. When applying speed 1 effect, jump sprinting is still faster, but just barely. At speed 2, you notice a difference. Sprinting is no faster than sprint jumping. Myth number 6. There is a limit for how many mobs naturally can spawn in a chunk. I found a cave spider spawner and stood afk for there for a moment while keeping an eye on the spawns. After a moment I discovered that once there's a certain number of mobs in the chunk, any more mobs can spawn. This is why you should make the mob collecting system in another chunk if you're making a mob farm. Myth number 7. You get better enchantments when it's done. To test this, I set up two identical enchanting stations and enchanted 100 diamond swords on both stations. After every sword had been enchanted, I collected data to be able to compare how many enchantments in total I had got on both stations and how many max level enchantments I had got in total. The final result was 193 enchantments, of which 168 were on max level enchantments when it's bright and 197 enchantments of which 156 were max level enchantments when it's dark. The results were really close to each other and there is a grade of randomness. We can therefore conclude that enchanting in darkness or when the light level is high doesn't have any difference at all. Myth number 8. The Minecraft world is infinite. The Minecraft world is huge. Most people, most people say infinite, but rumors say that you can travel only 30 million blocks in each direction. direction. Well, only 30 million. I started up a completely new world and entered the command. 
slash dp 29 million 999 and 999 <laughs> I don't want to say that all 150 and 0 Yes dear folks, behold as you see the Minecraft wall isn't infinite just insanely large Myth number 9 In survival, you can't break another portal without breaking the obsidian. I asked my friend Martin to try to break another portal without destroying any obsidian. Here's the progress. He finally figured out that he can use TNT to blow out the portal blocks. Myth number 10. Creepers actually only want to hug you. I managed to capture this footage. The myth is confirmed. But he got too excited at in the end. But I didn't hug them. What the hell? <laughs> wait, what? Uh, wait, what? Um, hello? 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 What the hell? Okay. I'm a little bad. Dude, go on. on. Yeah, okay. No. Nah. no. Yes, come here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What the fuck? Or do I need the creative have a Nah. Oh my god. Well, no, 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 no